today on an all-new Marilyn Dennis Show. These are your people, Marilyn. What are you teaching them? <laughs> Professional organizer Jill Pollock goes through the Marilyn staff fridge and freezer. You won't believe what she finds. Plus, her top tips and tricks on how you can take control of your pantry, fridge, and freezer. And blast your back fat. From Brent Bishop's fast and effective exercises to the bra that helps sculpt a sexy back. Then... There was always a competition in my head. It was like there was a scorecard. We've all met one. They compete over their children, husbands, and their lives. We break down the mom peditors, who they are and how to deal with them. And now, here she is, Marilyn Dennis. Okay, here we go. Come on, pump it up. You can do it. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks, everybody. This is going to be great. You're going to love this. A well-organized fridge and freezer means a quicker, stress-free meal prep plus. Money saved by not buying ingredients you already have but can't find. So here we go. Here to help us is professional organizer. I love her. Please welcome Jill Pollock. She's our refrigerator. Woo! Woo! Find your refrigerator. Hello, darling. How are you? Ma, ma. Love you. And as we usually do, we meet by the refrigerator. Exactly. Right What's cooking? That's yeah. Right. yeah. That's where all the good chats happen. Yeah. So, uh, you usually know. Usually the door's open. What do you want to tell us today about all this stuff? Because I think sometimes we either, we jam pack with too many things and it's not organized, probably. That's Definitely. what you want to say. And what else? Well, you know what's funny is a lot of times people will call me in to help them. They're like, oh, my garage is a mess. And I'll walk in and I'll be like, okay? Like, you can't even see what's going on in here in your refrigerator. So a lot of times I start in, at the refrigerator because the refrigerator is like the stomach of the house. That's true. And if you have indigestion, <laughs> you don't feel good, right? That's right. That's so right. if your refrigerator is not organized, you have problems. Do you, could you tell the personality by the refrigerator? Well, generally, generally, yes. Generally, you can. That's yeah, so interesting. Yeah, of course. It's like a handwriting analysis. Yeah, okay. All right. So the first thing you want us to do is what? Yeah. Well, the first thing to do when you're organizing your refrigerator is to clean it out. I ah. hate to tell you, but that's how you start with a clean slate, right? Okay. You clean it out. So, you know, a quick, you could do it quickly. Take a cooler. Put your stuff in there. It takes 10 minutes. Wipe it down with a little vinegar. Then you're starting fresh because what's more disgusting than things that you don't know that are going on. Okay, I want to let everybody know, this is our staff refrigerator. Yeah. And last time I looked, it did not look like this, no, okay? No, exactly. In fact, I, I, I have to stand back. That's what it looked like, everybody. And I just have to stand back. Right. You have done a miracle here right. today. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo. And I said, I said, that's our staff fridge. What's it doing here? And I said, where are my muscle milks? And there they are right there. Okay, now let okay. me tell you something, Marilyn. Sure. All yeah. right, so... You talk the talk with organizing, <laughs> yeah. but you've got to walk the walk because okay. I'm going to show you two things that were in your staff fridge. Oh, 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 okay. staff, who is that? Honestly, could you gag? Could you, you gag that from this? That is so gross. Whose is that? Fess up. Anybody? These, yeah, are, you won't. these are what I call UFOs <laughs> unidentified fridge objects. I actually I feel dirty and nauseous. Let with me these. find let me find. This was expired. Oh gosh. This I is don't... like a petri dish. This Look at this is a science experiment oh my happening. Gosh. March 17th of last year. Nice. Stop nice. it. Stop it. Stop Nicely it. done. Disgusting. Nicely done. It's that is disgusting. So get rid of that stuff. Garbage. Oh, yeah, just please. throw it on the floor. We'll clean oh, up later. I mean, where's the Purell? <laughs> oh, I feel sick. And then you are very it's very organized. Yeah. So what do you do? Okay, well, here's the thing. First of all, leftovers big problem because you make a delicious meal you have a little salad left a little chicken left a little mm -hmm. Chinese food left great people put the leftovers far away and they can't see them. put it at eye level so you know how long are leftovers good for a day yeah. two days right, right. if you don't see it and eat it it turns into a UFO so have your nice you know General Tso's chicken for dinner the next night or throw it away you're not you know right and make sure that you can see what's in them because exactly so colorful that I can't see what's you in can them. take a label you yeah, can write sure. on it I mean so honestly, eye level leftovers. yeah eye level prime okay. real estate because if you're hiding your leftovers they're gone forever and then they're turning into yeah you know you atomic have, bombs and then the other thing is you get mad at yourself with that what a waste of food yeah I, like I wasted that, that. exactly yeah. so bring it to lunch the next day like plan the meal you're gonna eat the Beautiful. leftovers what else Let's okay go here. so there's some really good items that you can use to help organize your refrigerator one I love is the lazy Susan look at ah, this that's a good oh, idea instead of like what do I have back there things are falling down you can turn and say, oh, look, there's my hummus, there's my dips, there's my peanut butter. It's great for, like, down and low, dark, little dark areas. I also love this. If you drink a lot of soda, mm -hmm. this is a great uh, dispenser. 
um, to do that. Plus, you have another shelf here. So instead of taking up the real estate, it's taking up half a Very half good. a section. Look at the condiments. Good okay, girl. so this is great. So. You know, if you have a family, everyone wants, someone likes ketchup, someone likes mustard, someone likes this or that. You can take it all out and leave it there. Don't put it on the dining room table because I don't like condiment packages on the dining room table. Right. Whatever can fix their own thing. Plus, if you're grilling, you okay. take it out, right? So that's all you put it out on the counter. Where the, you go? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, like, be honest about your <laughs> boutique condiments. Like, I don't know when the last time anybody used capers is, and yeah. I, I don't really cook. That's my little secret. Me but, too. But if you're making pasta puttanesca, you probably make it once a year, maybe. I mean, you're not really using capers again. So try and avoid the sort of boutique okay. condiments because, you know what, they take up a lot of space. And who really uses, look at, we what found in here, we find? found in that here. That ketchup is mine, I know that. Uh, green mustard. Oh, that's what is delicious. That? Is it? Okay, so do you use it all the time? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, well, then you do. That's fine. Don't touch my green mustard. No, and no. that is not a UFO, by the way. No, okay, because I didn't know what, like. where, how the green started out, what the green color was Very when it good. started. So this is a good way. You know, it's like yeah. the refrigerator companies give you drawers to organize your stuff. There's yeah. no reason you can't add that. Good stuff. Plus, here's another tip. Okay, so you love this milk. Oh, I love here's it. Here's a genius thing. Yeah. When things are packaged individually, mm -hmm. take them right out of the packaging. Like yogurts and things exactly. like that. Exactly. Exactly. So, because yeah. then you know what you have. So look at you. You could just reach in and grab it instead of like fumbling with the packaging, mm -hmm. and you don't know, right? I take it right out. Yeah. Cheese sticks and all that. That way, you know how much you have. And studies say that if you take twenty percent, twenty seconds off any job, you're more inclined to do it. Yeah. So Good you idea. just easily grab that in there. Okay. So you bought these extra. These extra for us today, right? Yes. Okay, these are good. these are these are wonderful organizing. Look, can we just talk quickly about the door? Yeah. Okay. So the door is like a place where people lose things. It's kind of a bit of a black hole in the refrigerator, so you really have to designate, right? Here we have, like, you know, pickles and olives. You kind of, like, do you put socks and T-shirts and hairbands in one drawer? No, I do so not. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So do we don't put socks in, we put, you cat that's the key to organizing. Categorizing. Categorizing. Yeah. So, you know, pickles and olives make sense together, right? Mm -hmm. Not... You know, this is one thing that you always have to keep ready. I don't know if it's a condiment or a staple, but this was also in your staff fridge, so I see you're cracking the whip. Another good tip is taking paper towels, obviously, to clean it, yeah. but also you can line your drawers, because that way, if somehow an apple should get a little fungusy, yeah. it's not going to get on your drawer good shelf. Idea. You can do good that. Idea. Okay? Mm -hmm. One other delicious tip is, if you want to freshen it because you have had too many mm -hmm. UFOs in the fridge, right. a cotton ball with a little vanilla on it in a dish for a day or two gives it a heavenly smell and you'll get rid well, of any isn't that delightful now you have to close that door because i'm afraid to see what's in here okay so okay, now so wait a minute freezer the freezer i do the refrigerator for free but the ref the freezer is going to cost you <laughs> oh <laughs> This is your, these are your people, Marilyn. What are you teaching them? What kind of shop are you running here? So where do you begin on well, this? Well, first of all, look at this. I'll tell you what's... Dirty. Oh. Yes, look at that. This is, oh. this is some fungus here yeah, happening. I know it's not a... gross. Right? Yeah. Not appetizing. <laughs> okay? Another thing so that is gross. a real <laughs> yeah. tragedy. A tragedy. I'm telling you, it's a tragedy. Look at how, how wrong this ice cream has gone. Well, that, that's because of why. Why did that happen? Why did this happen? Because it melted and it remelted. And look, now it's ice chips. Even I, who will eat pretty much anything frozen in milk, would not eat this. This yeah. is not ice throw cream to me. Just throw it on disgusting. The floor. It is Horrible. disgusting. Okay. okay. And then oh, we got oh. Somebody's... I don't know why you freeze why nuts. Why is that? Why I'm are we freezing sure. nuts? Nothing like a frozen I've never nut. heard about I'm that. But you. look at how many bread products you have. We have one. We have two. We have. Three. Do you not know that we're on a budget? We have four. We have five. We have six. We have seven at least loaves of bread. At least you have the vodka. We're going to need that. We're going to need it. What is this doing in the refrigerator? You work them too hard. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're like Russian people, <laughs> just potatoes and vodka. How much bread does a person eat? By the way, this is going to go off. This is ridiculous. Just because you put it in the freezer doesn't mean you're cryo-freezing it forever. It oh. actually goes bad in the freezer. Okay, somebody's going to get in trouble today. Heads are going to roll here. Okay, so it, it, with, you, with the freezer, keep it nice and clean. Wash it out. Keep it clean. Wash it out. And here's the thing. If you buy it, you yeah. intend to eat it, right? Because you stick it in the freezer, you think, oh, it's good. It's there forever. It's not going to yeah. be good forever. Yeah. You know, you, it's a really not good to waste food. That's the, who, That's you know, not, you don't want to do it. So play a little game with yourself. What is, is it, that? Is this important to freeze cardboard? <laughs> I know. 
I'm, I'm sure some man did this. Some I'm man sure did this. a man froze a cardboard box. Exa oh, look, more bread, more okay. waffles. All right, we got problems here. This is, what is this going is a, on? It's all going to hell in a handbasket over here. French fries. fries. Who's eating French fries? Right. But I play a game in my house because okay, if, if the freezer is full and you literally you couldn't fit anything else in here, st eat the refrigerator, eat the freezer down. So like you have it in there. Right. So it's like you save those burgers, eat those burgers, honey, or toss them. Like don't keep yeah. buying new food. You got to rotate. You got to rotate. Don't you rotate inventory. your socks? Yes, I do. I do too. Okay. Rotate your freezer. I love her. She's coming back. We're gonna attack the pantry. Coming up next. That's gonna be dangerous. Jump on. That's hysterical. Come on. What is the cardboard doing in there? Coming up. That's a cheap way to do it, and you can see what you have. From see-through bins to the designated kid's snack drawer, celebrity organizer Jill Pollock's got the products that'll help you lighten up and declutter your pantry.